So we're at the Tampapata Research Center, and last night we set up this camera with a little infrared sensor and a flash on the side with the premise that if something cool like a jaguar or an ocelot or even like a peccary came by, it would trigger this infrared sensor, it would take a picture, and we'd have this awesome picture of it. How did you guys figure out this would be the spot? Um, basically, a lot of times animals will use trails, and then this has got human trail going down, and then it looks like a game trail continuing on. So that combination will make hopefully a lot of animals around here. Last night when we left this place, it looked a little bit different. We had a plastic bag over this thing. We had one of my dry bags over this. And then we got here, and they were gone. Do you know who did it? Let me see if I can find the little guy. <clears throat> Look at that. That is a leaf cutter ant. So literally, leaf cutter ants came through and ate everything. Everything. Look at this. This is the evidence of the bag. You can see those little discs that they take out. So that should normally be a leaf. But apparently they like this plastic bag. It could have been because it had like salt on it from, from when we touched it. Who knows, but it is entirely gone. And they, I mean, hopefully the camera's okay. We're gonna have to check that. This used to be my dry bag that was wrapped around this thing. It's gone. Um, the wires for the uh, sensor, they ate all that. I mean, this is crazy. I had no idea this would happen. This is the last thing I would have thought would have occurred. And even this, this is the gorilla pod. Um, and these things are supposed to be like safe against gorillas or something is the last I heard and just take a look at All of that damage that they did to it. It is crazy So we're gonna have to rethink how we do this next time and uh, Probably a good starter is not to put it five feet away from a leaf cutter ant nest